Hi guys, Julie here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this wall hanging, this boho style wall hanging. It's very easy to make. You can use all those leftover yarns. So um, let's get started. Okay, so here is the sketch of my wall hanging. So I'm going to use all kinds of yarns. They are all leftovers so this a project is, is a great way to use all of your leftover yarns um, the main color it's still going to be this um, ivory and then I have just leftovers so I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these colors so I'm going to see and <clears throat> here is my sketch so I know for sure that I'm going to make fringes I'm going to make the bubble stitch I'm also going to make this braided puff stitch uh, here I have also bubbles and fringes and this one here they are all going to be um, in different colors so and maybe also some kind of different stitches so um, yeah go ahead and take all of your leftover yarns that you have and um, just look what goes together and for the hook I'm going to work with a 4.5 millimeter hook since my main color is a size 3 so I'm going to work with a, a 4.5 um, millimeter crochet hook and maybe I'm also going to need my five millimeter hook so I'm going to keep this one near me and what else can I say so you are also going to need yarn needle to weave in all of your loose ends a pair of scissors and a stick a wooded stick Okay, so I'm going to start chaining a total of 66 and I'm working with my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so once you have your chain done, so 66 chains, we are going to work in the back bump of our chain. So this is the back bump, see? So this one here, you are going to hold your chain like so and single crochet in each of those back bumps till the end of the chain and at the end you are going to have a total of 65 single crochets. Okay, so this is the right side of your work. Now on the back side of the work, we are going to make the bubble stitch. So um, always when you are working the bubble stitch, you are working on the wrong side of the work so that your bubbles pops in front of the work. So chain one, turn your work and single crochet in your very first stitch. So this one. Your chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so this is your, your first single crochet. Now in the next stitch we are going to make the bubble stitch 
and for this you are going to make in the same stitch four unfinished double crochets so two three and four you have now five loops on your hook go ahead and yarn over and pull through all of your five loops and now single crochet in your next stitch one bubble in the next stitch so for unfinished double crochets three and four yarn over and pull through all of your five loops like so single crochet in the next okay so repeat till the end of the row and you are going to end up with one single crochet okay now you are going to chain one turn your work and single crochet in each stitch across you are going to have one row of single crochets in between your uh, bubbles uh, bubble stitch rows and I'm going to work off camera the um, rest of the bubble stitch row so this one here and then I'll meet you back to tell you how many bubbles I've made each row okay so I've made my bubble rows so in the first row so which one which is the row 2 um, I had 32 bubbles in total then one row single crochet one bubble row with 25 bubbles single crochet row then row 6 I've worked 13 bubbles then one single crochet row and row 8 I've worked only 5 bubbles now go ahead and work so this is going to be this portion here I'm going to work a total of 10 single crochet rows and then I'll meet you back for the color changing okay so I've worked 10 rows of single crochet with my main color now it's time to bring in so I'm going to call it color 1 and I'm also going to write down and I'm going to work over 30 stitches so now we are going to change color so make a slip knot and pull through the loop now this is your chain one and now we are we need to work over our main color and i'm also going to work over this tail here this way you have less uh, tails to weave in later so one two three so i'm going to work 30 stitches in total okay. and on your last stitch you are going to switch again to your main color to close your last stitch just like so and now leave your color one on the back of your work and continue single crocheting in each stitch till the end of the row and then once you're at the end of the row you are going to chain one turn your work and work all of your single crochets with your ivory color and then you are going to switch again to your color one and work these 30 stitches okay now once you're at the end of the row this is your last stitch you are going to chain one and cut your color one 
and pull through and now turn your work so you see my main color is always on the back of the work now we are going to introduce color 2 and color 3 so with my color 2 I'm going to work 20 stitches and I'm quickly going to show you how to uh, change all these colors so first make a single crochet this is your first stitch and now try working over your tails oh I wasn't in frame sorry about that now I have one two three four five six seven eight nineteen and twenty and now we are going to switch to color three and make twenty five single crochets so let me see I'm going to take this color here oh no I'm going to take this one here and just make a slip knot and close your last stitch with your new color just like so and now try working over your um, tail and this one here is going to be on the back side of the work untouched and now make your 25 stitches with your next color so basically this is it for now I am <coughs> going to work off camera all of these rows and then I'll meet you back and tell you how many stitches I've made with each of these colors okay so I'll meet you back here okay so I've made all of my color uh, colors here all of my rows now um, I have in total I've used a total of 12 different colors now this row here we've made together so each color I worked two rows and the last one which is this one here I'm I've made only one row um, now I'm going to tell you from here so this is a color of four I've worked over 25 stitches color five I've worked over 12 stitches color six I've worked over 15 stitches color 7 I've worked over 35 stitches color 8 I've worked over 22 stitches color 9 I've worked over 18 stitches color 10 I've worked over 26 stitches color 11 I've worked over 55 stitches and the last color here which is only one row it's color 12 and I've worked over um, 58 stitches now we have this portion here in between I'm going to work again off camera because there are only single crochet rows a total of 11 this portion here 11 single crochet rows and then I'm going to meet you 
back right here for the braided puff stitch okay so <clears throat> once you've made your 11 rows of single crochet you are going to chain one and cut your main color now I want to make this uh, braided top stitch so for this I am going to take another color so turn your work the right side is facing you I'm going to work uh, my braided puff stitches with this color so first go ahead and make a slip knot and attach your yarn to your very first stitch with a single crochet like so now we are going to make a double crochet so yarn over skip two and double crochet in the next chain one and now we are going to make our puff stitch in this first stitch we've skipped so this one here one two and three yarn over pull through and chain now again yarn over now you are going to skip one and in the next make your double crochet chain one and now the puff stitch in the stitch you've skipped this one here one two and three close chain double crochet skip one and in the next chain one puff stitch in the stitch you've skipped one two and three yarn over pull through chain okay so work like this till the end of the row okay at the end of the row you have three stitches left now you are going to yarn over and make your double crochet in here so skip one and in the next double crochet chain one make your puff stitch in the stitch you have skipped close and chain and now you are going to single crochet in your last stitch just like so okay now you are going to chain one and turn your work okay now we are going to make another row with our um, double crochets and top stitches so prepare for a double crochet and you are going to double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row right here so double crochet chain one and then you are going to make your puff stitch on top of your puff stitch from the previous row like so close and chain double crochet on top of your double crochet chain one puff stitch on top of your puff stitch close and chain and again double crochet on top of your double crochet chain one and puff stitch on top of your puff stitch from the previous row close and chain okay so this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the row and you are going to end up with a one single crochet okay. now chain one and cut your yarn 
and turn your work. Now we are going to start working again with this color work here. So I'm going to work off camera and then um, I'll meet you back actually one uh, once I am at the end of my um, wall hanging and I'm going to tell you how many stitches I've made with each color and also how many bubbles so since we've already made these bubbles together and those are going to be single crochets um, and here you are also going to make this braided um, puff stitch so i'm going to meet you at the end um, let me show you how to start your next single crochet when you are working on top of your uh, puff stitches so i rejoin with a single crochet so this is my first stitch now I'm going to single crochet right here. Remember, we've skipped two stitches down here instead of one, so two. Now you are going to single crochet in your one chain space, three, single crochet on top of your double crochet, four, single crochet in your one chain space on top. So each of those uh, puff stitches are going to uh, have two single crochets okay so make sure that at the end of the row you are still going to have your 65 single crochets and somewhere here i'm going to switch to another color so i'm going to let you know how i've made this okay now let me show where i've made here so i've worked each color to single crochet rows and then I've worked a uh, four rows of my braided um, puff stitch and then I've worked one row of single crochet in my main color and then one row with my bubble stitch um, and uh, for the colors so this one right here I have 31 stitches the next I have 33 stitches then here I have two colors I have 21 and 21 stitches then 15 stitches 35 stitches 16 stitches this one here and this one 31 stitches and when I've started working um, on this row here, the second row, I've introduced this color here and I've worked over 19 single crochets and then when I've turned, I worked 9 bubbles in total then I worked with my main color and then I start working with this color here which are 16 stitches um, and then on the bubble side right here I've also worked another row with this color with this blue here and then finished above on this side only with one row of my main color um, okay so I hope this was clear enough now I'm going to pick up my single crochets right here and then I'm going to work probably a total of 10 single crochet rows or maybe 15 I'm going to leave you right here on the screen how many rows um, I've made in total with my single crochet 
Um, so go ahead and meet me back once you have this rose done. Okay, so I've worked a total of 11 single crochet rows. Once you have this done, you are going to chain one um, and cut your yarn, leave a long tail for the sewing. And then you are going to take your, um, so just for the demonstration, I'm going to use this um, uh, knitting needle. So you are going to take your wooded stick and put them like so in on the back side of your work and then you are just going to sew then inside um, this inside of your work like so like a pocket and then once you have this done you are also of course going to weave in all of your loose ends and once you have this done, if you like, you can attach some fringes in here and also on the bottom of your wall hanging, you can also attach some fringes. So this is it. Thank you all for watching and for joining me today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Till next time, bye bye.